All right, good morning. It is time now for the Morning Mix, and thanks so much for joining us on this Thursday. And unfortunately, we are going to start off with some sad news to report. Stephen Boss, a.k.a. Twitch, the DJ for daytime talk show Ellen, has died. A lot of us saw this just flooding our social media posts yesterday. A lot of people playing tribute to him. Host of the show, uh, Ellen DeGeneres, honored her friend and longtime colleague on social media. Now, in her post, she wrote, quote, I am heartbroken. Twitch was pure love and light. He was my family, and I loved him with all of my heart. I will miss him. Now, Boss began DJing for the show in 2014, all the way until the series ended back in 2022. So earlier this year, DeGeneres even named him an executive producer in 2020. And he is survived by his wife and three children. And you're seeing his wife there just dancing. And that video was just a couple of days ago, mm -hmm. you know, and he looked joyful and yeah. okay. This story has shocked so many people just because he was this beacon of light for so many people and for so many years. Yeah. So it's this is a hard one to yeah. understand. A good example too, to just remember to check in on your strong friends, your friends you think they are okay. Let them know they're worthy. Let them know life is important. You know, just check in on them. I know I did that yesterday after I saw this. Mm -hmm. Some of my friends, you know, that you think are okay. I'm just like, hey, I'm here. Yeah. Is everything okay? Just check on them because you think we got it together, but interior, you know, sometimes inside you may not. So just check on those people. And it's, and you know, how, how you, they, you present yourself to, mm -hmm. to the public should, could be very different than to what you're feeling inside. Yeah. So it's very hard to catch those moments, but we really, our hearts and thoughts mm -hmm. and prayers for him and his family and yeah. so sad, so very sad, such a loss. All right, in the highly publicized and dramatic trial over whether rapper Tory Lane shot Megan the Stallion in the foot, well, a key witness made a little bit of a legal oopsie. Yeah, rapper Megan the Stallion's ex-friend and ex-assistant Kelsey Harris took the stand yesterday and she recanted an earlier testimony that was played from a recorded interview in September with police. In the recording, Harris claimed Lanes had also threatened to shoot her the night the incident happened. As Harris was pressed of the validity of the claim, she invoked her Fifth Amendment right, then admitted to the judge that parts of her recorded interview were, in fact, not accurate. Harris is due back in court today. And mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have had a chance to read some of what Megan has said about this. Mm -hmm. She has, this has really affected her yeah. and almost made her very fearful to communicate with other people. And it's just really, it happened in 2020 and she's mm -hmm. had a very, I can imagine, hard time coming back from this and just getting through it. Yeah, I was reading an article. This is the first time she's really talked about it explicitly was in court. And she also said that during this process, she's even had suicidal thoughts, mm -hmm. you know, just having to replay in her mind. So this is not an easy situation for her or really anyone involved but you know just imagine the impact that this has after you said 2020 right yeah yeah that's Couple two years, years you're having yeah. to just yeah. sit you know and now having to replay those moments not easy yeah it's, it's very traumatic anytime something like that happens mm -hmm. in your life and then having to talk about it over and over yeah, yeah. So. I'm sure she is ready for closure, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. All right, well, from one Megan to another there is no shortage of drama when it comes to family and friends when someone who's marrying in who should be a supporting, a supporting act is then stealing the limelight or is doing the job better than the person who was born to do this. That upsets people. It shifts the balance. Yeah, Today is the Day, part two of Netflix's controversial docuseries Harry and Meghan releases. In one dramatic scene, Prince Harry says it was terrifying to have his brother, Prince William, scream at him while Harry and Meghan were trying to split from the royal family. Now, the last parts of the series discusses the couple's challenges since their wedding, as well as their miscarriage and jealousy from those close to them. You know, in the first few handful of the documentary, something he was very, you know, made a big point, wanted to make a big point about was the mm -hmm. fact of what this did to his mom being a part of the royal family. And that really sat yeah. with him when he saw all this playing out with his wife and then what he felt like as a child dealing with all the media attention, the paparazzi. So it was yeah. he was sensitive to it anyway. Mm -hmm. you, know? you know, I've been watching it, too, and I didn't think he was going to go into such a deep dive when it came to his mother. I thought it was going to be more about their relationship. But of course, she plays a huge aspect in his life and his upbringing. And I really like that he's kind of highlighting it. It kind of shifts the dynamic of the story that they're mm -hmm. sharing, too. So part two, a little bit, it dives a little bit deeper. This is part one I'm talking I mean, about. Yeah. Oh, okay. I haven't seen okay. the next one yet. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. sort of, but it, it does set the foundation, as Jess mentioned, because you do understand a mm -hmm. little bit more why he was so fearful and protective mm -hmm. 
of Megan and his family not being so having that pressure that the royal family might place on them mm-hmm. and being in the limelight. I mean, because of what he went through with his mom, you know, and there are clips and footage of his mom going up to reporters asking them, please give me privacy, give me space with my children. We're on a holiday. So I think a lot of us are curious. For some reason, we're all fascinated by the royal family. So I think it's interesting that they're being very honest and open about it. But. Mm -hmm. I don't know about honest. We're not getting a full picture, though. Well, we aren't getting the royal. I mean, maybe they'll speak out about it, right? I'm a little skeptical. Are you? I think I'm the odd one out with this one, but I'll just hear from you guys. (laughs) 